What's going on, YouTube? going on YouTube. Got this uh, back brace on right now. As you guys can see, I'm really walking with a with a walking stick. We just got plenty of rain the other day. Um, and, uh, got some a few things in the mail. I think I tried to make a video about my hot water shower system, but I don't think that video came out good, so we'll see uh, how this video comes out because, I, you know, sometimes, you know, I got my phone far away, so I use my Bluetooth headphones, you know, to listen from a distance without having to have the phone on me. With that said, I think... Uh, uh, these headphones are actually recording the audio so we'll see how this video comes out guys okay um, but I have a back brace on right now as I showed you um, the other day I worked out um, but I worked out too hard my back my lower back and it happened to me in the past, this ain't nothing new, you know what I'm saying? Um, but instead of going and looking, because I'm so disorganized, you know, for the two back braces I already have somewhere, only God knows, right? You know, today I went to a store, you know, uh, this morning, and yet all oh, yesterday, guys, my back was just hurting, you know what I'm saying? But at least today... I got some support, you know, because I didn't even want to walk in the store and go and, you know, or if they were out of stock. So I called to make sure that they were in stock, you know, and I told the employee, you know, just bring it up uh, to the register, you know, I, tr I tried it on and everything, made sure it fit and everything before I bought it. Uh, so yeah, man, I got my... A brand new uh, back brace. Uh, it's really good, you know, for back support, guys. Uh, like I said, I worked out my back way too much the other day, but it's all good. It's just going to take some time to heal, so I'm not going to be driving around in the car today. I'm just going to take it easy, probably stay home. You know, um, I'm probably going to lay on the ground. Um, you know, with my shirt off, you know, or whatever. Um, because another thing, guys, when it comes to grounding is the more, uh, of your body, skin that you have exposed to the actual ground, the better, the more grounding surface you have, you know, if you actually just lay down on the ground naked, I don't know if I'm going to lay on the ground naked, you know, but probably with my shirt off, I'll do it, you know, um, and the reason I'm saying this, you know, with my shirt off, especially because that's where my back pain is, you know, of course, 
But the reason I'm saying this, guys, is because another thing I forgot to mention about grounding, okay, guys, is I did talk about the negative energy, but, um, you know, when you have negative energy in your body, guys, it causes certain different things. And, uh, you know, inflammation is one of those things, right? So grounding helps bring down inflammation. All right, guys. So I'm probably going to do that today. But uh, what I want to show you in this video, guys, is I have a nice little uh, strainer, you know, that came in the mail. I'm actually about to show you my whole uh, hot water system right now. Like I said, I made another video, but I don't think the audio came out good, so I didn't ever, you know, publish it or whatever. But yeah, guys, basically, okay, here's my pump. The blue thing is my pump. Okay, guys, just put this right here for right now. So... The green part of this pump, the green hose is going to be attached to that spigot on the bottom right there. Um, this is only a temporary spot for the pump for right now. What I'm really waiting on is, and we had some rain, so that's good. The Lord is good. The Lord is blessing me with some rain, you know, to fill up my barrels. But yeah, man, that's what I'm really waiting for, you know what I'm saying, because... This is a hot water shower system, guys, and, you know, uh, the thing with this pump right here, you don't want to run it dry, because you could burn it out, of course, right, so, so, uh, you know, I got, I got more rain barrels on the other side and all that, you know, you, you, you know what I'm saying, but, uh, but yeah, man, uh, it's coming off of the metal tin. You know, from the rain that God gave us into that top barrel. Now, um, you know, I could always turn this on. Well, it's actually on right now. This is fully on, uh, open. So, as you guys saw in the other video, it's filling up this barrel right here now. I have enough in this barrel right now to turn it on and for water to come out, you know. But this barrel is um, going to fold it, fill this one up completely as this one um, continues to get filled up from the gutter. Okay, guys, but either way, man, um, you can see the shower line, you know. Now, this is coming from the pump, you know, and... This whole line right here, guys, is going to my hot water shower, which I got covered up to protect it from the rain right now. You know what I'm saying? But this is my hot water. The hot water is going to be coming into here. Uh, it's running off of propane. As you guys can see, there's the propane line. Okay, but it has a battery-operated ignition. So it's ignite the fire um, with the fuel of propane, um, but the igniter runs off of a, a uh, I think it's a double D battery, you know, and I've had one of these hot water shower uh, instant on demand heaters in the past, so they work really good. So basically it's instant hot water heater, but it has to be a certain water pressure, and that's why I got the pump, guys. So I got the pump, you know, supplying that uh water pressure you know and then it's going to be a uh, hot water on demand here's my shower head right here that's probably going to be a temporary spot and so i'll make it a permanent fixture somewhere okay guys but yeah that's my hot water shower system um but uh like i said man i just got this part in the mail so you know, I'm probably just going to attach it right here for right now. I'm 
try to do this with one hand. Since I don't got my phone on my tripod right now. And there you go, guys. Got the filter on there. Not really a filter, but it's a strainer. You know what I'm saying? So the water comes through here. Goes in there. Goes through the strainer. So any pollen or bugs or whatever. Um, but you see where this... It's not really a lot of bugs without the strainer. But it's just for extra, you know what I'm saying? Filtration or whatever. Um, because anything that's heavy... Any type of metal that may be in it, I don't think that there is at all, you know what I'm saying? But it's heavy, so it's always going to sink all the way down to the bottom anyway. See what I'm saying? Anything that's heavy, bugs or whatever. Which, I, like I said, I don't think there's a lot because I have a good uh, a screen on the top of it and all that. But yeah, man, this is like good uh, rainwater right here. So when I tighten this up, you know, now it's tight. Now when the when the water comes out of here, it's going through here automatically before it goes out of here. That's how they have it uh, constructed. It's going to go through the strainer and then it's going to come through here. So. You know, uh, and then I could put another one on that bottom one. You see what I'm saying? And then I could put another one, you know. So, it's a lot of options when it comes to straining and filtering. You get what I'm saying? But it starts from the beginning of the gutter, like on top. Inside of these gutters, I already have a strainer. You, you get what I'm saying? To strain out any fallen leaves. It's a lot of fallen leaves. Obviously, around here, when the leaves start falling off the trees in the fall. Oh, you know, um, so yeah, I got this, like a screen, protecting the leaves from getting inside of the uh, gutter, you know. And then, I got basically straight rainwater coming out of the downspout into my first rain barrel. And like I said, all heavy sediments will go all the way to the bottom, of course. But um, just for, you know, I never used this in the past, but just for extra, you know, safety or whatever. Now I got this uh, strainer right here. And that's actually, you know, to benefit and protect the, uh, the pump as well. You get what I'm saying? Even though I'm probably going to take this off and put it. Um, down here instead when my back is better, but I don't feel like bending down right now But I'm gonna put it on this one instead because that's where the green garden hose is going to get attached That's where the water's coming out You know and the pump is going to be pumping it um, From there You know uh, Through the pump All the way to my hot water shower heater and as long as, as as I have enough rainwater, guys, and of course enough propane, you know, I will uh, have on demand hot water and uh, I'll even be able to have a bathtub that I could fill up, you know, with hot water, you know, even in the wintertime, you know, and uh, soak in a hot bath. So, uh, yeah, you know, my fellow Americans, this is how you take a hot water, uh, a hot shower, you know, off of rainwater, off grid. A lot of Americans don't know about this life yet. Um, but, uh, it will be a lot worse for them, you know, if they're not even preparing. You get what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, guys, uh, I definitely will make another, uh, video in the future when I actually have 
you know, uh, running hot water. For now, I just got running cold water. So, so yeah, guys. Uh, with that said, man, I'm just going to rest and take it easy. Probably do some grounding. So, if there's any negative energy or AKA inflammation, you know, in my back from uh, working out my back too much, you know. Um, yeah, man, you don't want to overwork out, you know. Sometimes it's not good, man. You know, especially if you haven't really worked out in a while and then you just hit a certain muscle, you know, like a back muscle or whatever, and you just go hard. Uh, I didn't feel it, you know, directly afterwards, but, you know, two days later, you know, after I woke up, you know, from sleep, just was uh, occurring, like, you know what I'm saying? And of course, through prayer, Jesus Christ will hear, hallelujah, and he will um, heal the great healer. Hallelujah. So, so yeah, guys, like I said, I'm just going to take it easy today, man. Um, in Jesus' name, man, I'm going to lay down um, with my shirt off on the earth. Hallelujah. In prayer, just meditate. Take it easy today, guys. So, in Jesus' name, peace be with you.